Jats number around 30 million and live in the north of India, in the Haryana, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan provinces. In Pakistan, they are numerous in Punjab province and parts of Sindh. They speak a variety of languages, including Punjabi, Haryanvi, Hindi, Rajasthani, and Urdu, depending on the region. In Haryana and Punjab, many chief ministers and political leaders have come from the Jat community. They often play a decisive role in state-level elections due to their numbers and landholding power. Jats may be Hindu, Sikh, or Muslim, depending on the region. In Punjab, Jats form the majority of the Sikh population, while in Pakistan, many Jats are Muslim. For this video, a subscriber has sent me the raw genome of eight Jats. All individuals featured have given their consent to be subjects in my video. I identified the individuals with the highest and lowest step admixture of the group. In a Bronze Age model, the highest step individual was found to have 52% step, 18% Indus Valley, and 30% ancient ancestral South Indian ancestry. The lowest step individual was found to have 42% step, 46% Indus Valley, and 12% ancient ancestral South Indian ancestry. I also created models that split the Indus Valley ancestry into Iranian Neolithic and indigenous Indian components. This model shows the ancestry breakdown for the highest step individual. He is modeled as 50% step, 19% Iranian Neolithic farmer, and 31% ancient ancestral South Indian. Here's the same model but for the lowest step individual. According to it, 39% of his ancestry is step-related, 48% is Iranian farmer-related, and 14% derives from indigenous Indian hunter-gatherers. Looking at the FST distance charts I have compiled for these individuals, we see the dichotomy of Jat genetics. The low-step Jats actually tend to have higher West Eurasian contribution overall due to deriving more of their ancestry from the Iranian Neolithic farmers, which shifts them closer to such ethnicities as Tajik, Baloch, and Brahui. Meanwhile, the high-step Jats represent a unique cluster which isn't like any other ethnicity in the world. I ran the eight samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Here are their results. The most common Y lineage among them was R1AZ645, which is associated with the corded ware culture of Europe. The most common predicted phenotypes were Grassel Indid and East Alpinid. Almost every sample had dark brown eyes, although two samples had lighter brown eyes. Every sample scored black hair color. All samples except one scored light brown skin, with one sample scoring olive skin color. Hair textures ranged from straight to curly with wavy hair being most common. Five samples were predicted to have Greek and three samples were predicted to have snub nose shapes. Every sample was predicted to have high odds of male pattern baldness. Warrior and warrior phenotypes were roughly equally common. The Jots had average empathy levels, and surprisingly, seven were predicted to be lactase persistent, an outcome unexpected for an ethnicity outside of Europe. The Jots had low odds of autism. Only one sample carried risk variants for hemochromatosis, also known as the Celtic curse. When it comes to athleticism, the athletic C allele in ACTN3's R577X was as common as the unathletic T allele in this group of Jots. This is a typical allele distribution for West Eurasians. They had low odds of Tourette's, average odds of ADHD, high odds of bipolar 2, and low predisposition to bipolar 1. Keep in mind that the SNPs for bipolar 2 overlap greatly with those for depression in my trait predictor, whereas those for bipolar 1 overlap with schizophrenia. Only one sample carried risk variants for colorblindness in the OPN1SW gene. Two of the eight jots were predicted to have low odds of obesity, and none were predicted to have high odds. Two samples carried variants for HIV resistance. The Jots had average odds of syncope, low odds of cardiovascular issues, and high odds of type 2 diabetes. Three samples were predicted to have high odds of autoimmune disorders based on HLA genotypes. This is very surprising for a non-European ethnicity. Typically, only Europeans carry a high risk for autoimmune disease. The Jots had high odds of rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis, which are all autoimmune conditions. The Jots had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, low odds of Alzheimer's, 
high odds of epilepsy, and average odds of myopia. The Jots had very high odds of leukemia, very high odds of glioma, high odds of thyroid cancer, and high odds of epithelial cancers. When it comes to testicular cancer, all samples except one were homozygous for the risk alleles in the KITLG gene, which suggests that the rate of testicular cancer among the Jots must be high. On the other hand, only one sample carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JAK2 gene. The Jots had average odds of allergies and lower telomere lengths, which suggests shorter lifespan. The Jots were predicted to have lower levels of vitamin D, higher levels of LDL cholesterol, which is bad, low levels of HDL cholesterol, which is bad, and mostly lower glucose levels, which is good. When it comes to rare genetic conditions, two samples carried no variants for rare conditions. Out of all the other samples, the most common rare condition to carry risk variants for was Parkinson's disease. There were only two blood types observed among the group, O and B. O was more common. You can purchase my tools and services from the links in the description of the video. Thank you for watching, goodbye.